Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos of memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Ikinagagalak po namin. Ang inyo pagdating dito sa aming eskwela, Maguro Middle School, upang dumalo sa seremonya ng pagtataas ng mga antas. Pagbati, gradu, pagbati sa graduating class ng dalawang po libo dalawang pong taon, magsaya po kayong lahat. 大家好，我是黄小杰，周杰黄，欢迎来到Magruder中学，参加2020学年度的毕业典礼。让我们一起祝福所有的毕业生有美好的未来。Grüße von Deutschland, willkommen zu unseren Abschluss. Okay, einen Begriff für Hafez der Charog, seine Taschina Shin. Olá, bem-vindo à cerimônia de premiação. Para mim, sala de 2020. Nós conseguimos. Shiba Shanda Shabaike. Amader Procha Anastane Shagotom. Obinodon Class do Hajapish. Tonnabat. Olá e bem-vindos a nossa cerimônia. E felicidades à classe de 2020. Hello, welcome to our promotion ceremony. Thank you for coming. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Bonsoir à tous et bienvenue à la cerimônia. De remise des diplômes du Maguro Middle School. Merci d'être venu et félicitations à la classe de 2020. Merci pour vos attentions et plein plaisir. Au revoir. Konnichiwa. Promotion ceremonie yokoso. Takeda Shinsei des. 2020年 sotsugyo no 8年生 no mina. Sotsugyo omerito gozaimas. Mina san. Kyo wa kite kurete. Hello 
students, staff, and parents. My name is Taylor Machado, and I am in high spirits to be able to present this speech under the terrible circumstances. When I said I wanted this year to end with a bang, I did not mean like this. I know what all of us students are thinking. Oh man, school is just about to get good. But when you actually think back to the past three years, we did so many other great things. Let's tra all travel back to the first day we all stepped foot onto the infamous Magruder campus. Let's all count down from three. Repeat after me. Three, two, one. You step inside the faded blue gates. Little did you know how much the school was actually going to change you. I remember being overjoyed to see my friends after that super long and adventurous summer. All of our backpacks stuffed to the brim with unneeded supplies like huge binders and about a million pencils. It's like we saw it. three pencils were going to break every single day. Now all I have to worry about is making sure my computer is charged. I remember on my first day of school, I literally did not eat lunch because I couldn't open my locker. Now with the swiftest movements and the side of my hand, my locker opens. Starting middle school was a strenuous journey. While some friends went to other middle schools, such as Burt Lynn, some friends stayed with me this entire journey. Friends like Inaya Youssef, Maria Mendez, and Azul Alpazar. Some of these friendships lasted longer than three years, but we all started and ended our junior high school years together, and I could not be more grateful. I've met a lot more friends along the way, like Melina Padilla, and they make me smile and laugh every day, and that is such a gift. One moment that I always look back to with a smile on is actually from this year. That memory is when the gym was about to open up, and... Um, and my friends and I had an amazing time after school. Raise your hand if you have ever stayed late with your friends after school. Well, since I can't see if you're raising your hands or not, let's just move on. Basically, we walked to get boba and played a lot of photo roulette. We all ran to the field and plopped on the ground. We were all laughing and smiling. It was an amazing feeling that I will never forget. Even though I had a lot of amazing moments, of course they were the bad times. These three years were some of the hardest years I've ever had to go through, but they've also been the most fun. Let's travel forward in time. It feels as if we would all be done with school after this graduation, right? But no. This is just the beginning. As cliche as that sounds, it's very true. We have our whole lives to live. Let that sink in. We have four more years left of school, and then we'll all separate into our different paths. Before that happens, though, guess what we still have? School. When I was writing this speech, I was thinking, well, this is extra homework, great. But I was also thinking about the feelings I felt during these three years. Happiness, sadness, anger, confusion, and a lot of others. When I was going into fifth grade, I remember these actual fifth graders telling me, you think there's been drama this year? Well, there is so much more drama in fifth grade. And to tell you the truth, there was a lot that year. But these three years have matured me so much and I feel like fourth grade me would have been proud. Talking along the lines of younger selves, now, um, when I was in third or fourth grade, I used to imagine what wonders high school held. Now I feel like I'm ready because of all of you. Uh, special thanks to my brother Dylan. He helped, me through, he helped me get through some of the hardest assignments, and, and I'm so appreciative to have you as my mystery twin. So thank you to all the teachers I've had these past three years. You've helped me grow, taught me important life lessons, and still managed to give me way too much homework. Thank you to all my friends. I honest, honestly believe that I could not have done it without you. And finally, thank you to my parents. You encouraged me when I couldn't. You made me laugh when I didn't feel like laughing. And most of all, you turned me into the person I am now. To stop me from talking anymore, here's one of my favorite quotes, and I feel very strongly that it relates to how we're all feeling today. And when I was writing this, sitting at my desk, writing this speech, when all I wanted to do is go back. I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. Andy Bernard from The Office. And I wanted to say congratulations to all the Mustangs that graduated this year. Um, I'm so proud of you all, and it's been a pleasure to be able to spend my three junior high school years together with all of you. Congratulations, and have, I wish you luck with high school and what more what's to come. And that's it. Hello, class of 2020, family members, friends, and staff. Good afternoon. My name is Imani Farrell. Congrats, Mustangs. Your middle school days are over in the next couple of minutes. Sadly... 
we have faced a pandemic like no other, preventing us from getting together to celebrate, and recently, civil unrest due to racial injustice. Hopefully, I can help by taking you down memory lane. Let's travel to sixth grade, where we all were tiny little midgets, except for you, Cheyenne. Sixth grade was when we all didn't know how to open lockers or when we had plays from Miss Yeager's drama class, Holes, Ella Enchanted, etc., or when Mr. Lawrence yelled all throughout the lunch benches. Now that's a memory I'll never forget. Sixth grade was a memory that will never be forgotten. As we moved to seventh grade, we realized that we're so close to graduating that immediately we were already wanting to start our high school journey. Seventh grade was when we didn't have overloads of work. Everything wasn't as stressful. Thank you to all the seventh grade teachers. Lastly, we all will never forget Mr. Bermuda's and Miss Lofton's miles. The last memory of this stop, eighth grade year. Eighth grade was a journey, all right, from Mr. Bergner's dad jokes on Google Classroom to Mr. Barlett's crazy science ideas. All of these teachers are amazing in all shapes and sizes. As we lead this virtual stage, we will walk out like a true Mustang. Thank you to all the staff and teachers for providing us the knowledge we need to move on to high school. Miss Ingram's hump days will be missed, and sadly, I'll never get any of Mr. Lawrence's red vines. Now we've come to the end of memory lane, but that's not the end of what's yet to come. As we prepare for the next journey, I want to share some advice with you, my friends and fellow classmates. When we leave this virtual stage, remember to use all the tools that our teachers have worked so hard to prepare us to, to, to succeed in life, <laughs> such as making wise choices, being kind and respectful, using, using the materials that are in front of you. All I'm trying to say is that don't waste time on unimportant things that bring no value to you. Stay in your lane and focus on the things that bring you much happiness and much success. Lastly, I leave you a quote from two special people, Ms. Nunes and Mr. Hendricks. Mustangs are responsible, respectful, thoughtful, and scholars. Thanks, Mustangs, and congrats, class of 2020. It has been a long tradition at Magruder to honor eighth graders who have achieved excellence with medals of excellent awards. Each subject area has nominated a number of students. I know it's cliche, but these Mustangs should truly be honored to be nominated as one of the best in their subject. I will now read the nominees and announce the winners of the 2020 Magruder Mustang Medal of Excellence. Athletes of the Year nominees, Aiden Flores, Aiden Gallagher, Drake Rios, Sunse Takeda, Anna Elisa Duarte de Silva Lopez, Michaela Reyna, Alexis Fernandez, Vanessa Gonzalez, Vivian Yokoyama, Willem Tanaga. The Athlete of the Year winner includes Aiden Flores and Anna Elisa Duarte de Silva Lopez. Our English Learners of the Year nominees are Kevin Bechet, Anna Elisa Duarte de Silva Lopez, Alejandro Gonzalez, Joe J. Huang, and Bernan Torano. Our English Learner of the Year is Joe J. Huang. Our Historians of the Year nominees include Nicole Lee, Atitan Sumanen, Maya Islas, Isabella Gonzalez, Molly Mosk, Robert Ponce, Vivian Yokoyama, Anaya Youssef, Melina Padilla, and Aidan Burton. Our Historians of the Year winners are Robert Ponce and Molly Mosk. Our Mathematicians of the Year nominees are Aidan Flores, Willem Tanagan, An Wynn, Jojay Huang, Michaela Reyna, Lena Hong, Bohan Wynn, Robert Ponce, Maya Islas, and Matthew Gonzalez. Our Mathematicians of the Year winners include Michaela Reyna and Robert Ponce. Our Musicians of the Year nominees include Ethan Abrahamson, Kamani Borens, Haley Collins, Haley Ganella, Joseph Guillen, and Atitan Sumanen. Our Musicians of the Year winners are Ethan Abramson and Atitan Sumanen. Our Medals for Service and Leadership nominees 
include Samantha Romano, Daniel Green, Charles Hayes, a, excuse me, Anaya Youssef, Melina Padilla, Azul Alpazar, Jordan Stemberga, Drake Rios, Nathan South, and Owen Babb. Our Mustang Medal for Service and Leadership winners include Charles Hayes and Drake Rios. Our Performing Artist of the Year nominees include Aiden Flores, Cheyenne Butt, Taylor Machado, Owen Babb, Annabelle Cancio, Nathan South, Melina Padilla, Drake Rios, Anaya Youssef, and Amani Farrell. Our Performing Artist of the Year is Aiden Flores. Our Visual Artist of the Year nominees include Lena Hong, Kyla Robinson, Jade Jordan, Ashley Salinas, and Kai Bradley. Our Visual Artist of the Year winner is Kyla Robinson. Our Scientists of the Year nominees include Jeffrey Vu, Julian Gutierrez Clark, Amani Farrell, Owen Babb, Willem Tanagan, Travis Lago, Ethan Nguyen, Angelica Mejia, Alejandro Gonzalez, and Melina Padilla. Our Scientists of the Year winner includes Jeffrey Vu and Julian Gutierrez Clark. Our Writers of the Year nominees include Julian Gutierrez Clark, Anaya Youssef, Bohan Nguyen, Maya Islas, Molly Mosk, Nicole Lee, Ambrosia Lopez, Vivian Tatsuvana, Atitan Sumanon, Kyla Robinson, and our Writers of the Year are Julian Gutierrez Clark and Vivian Tata Vosian. Our Spanish Students of the Year, Johanna Hossein, Ann Nguyen, Bohan Nguyen, Shunse Takata, Vivian Tata Vosian, and Alexis Fernandez. Our Spanish Students of the Year is Johanna Yosan. It is now my privilege to announce the Magruder Students of the Year for the class of 2020. All of these students have done an exceptionally well this academically this year, earning outstanding grades, as well as glowing reviews from their teachers. These students have continued to be responsible, respectful, thoughtful scholars throughout all the challenges that have faced them this year. It is my honor to announce the class of 2020 Students of the Year. Atitan Sumanan, Johanna Hossein, Viviana Tatavosian, and Michaela Reyna. Scholars, today is your day to reflect on your growth, celebrate your efforts, and embrace what comes ahead. For the past three years, the questions posed daily were, what time is it? And what is your job? Recently, the question of what's going to happen now fills many of our minds with a pervasiveness that seems like it will never end. Nonetheless, without fail, despite the trials and tribulations that we find ourselves in, you continued to answer the tried and true questions and inquiries respectfully and responsibly, knowing that your job and the time was and is and will continue to be to learn. And this you have. You have learned so very much. Lessons of ancient Egypt, the Pythagorean theorem, how to critically think and convey your ideas in written form, whether it was in a face-to-face -face classroom or now as we have found ourselves in the current state of distant learning. And the lessons continue beyond the four walls of the classroom. Lessons of how to be responsible, respectful, and thoughtful are seen every day as you help one another, say hello with a smile, and welcome those of our newest to the Magruder family. These lessons on campus, and now from your home, 
are to be celebrated as they are the foundations to ensure you are bound for success as you pursue your dreams. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon in changing the world. Education is also the one thing that cannot be taken away from you once it's acquired. It is the key to open doors and your ticket to the endeavors you wish to embark upon, which will lead to choice and choice to freedom. And we adults all know that freedom is all you scholars want. Our teachers and support staff have made every effort to ensure during these life-changing events that we are all experiencing, there has not been a beat missed in making sure that you have the best learning experience possible. And for that, I take this moment to thank them during this very special time. This milestone of promotion is traditionally accompanied with the eighth grade dance and picnic. We all know missing out on these events is disappointing, and we also know that when the time is right, and it is safe, we will reconnect and celebrate with joy and gratitude. In the meantime, we are living in historic times where huge future historians will look back and learn from one another of our choices, how we work together for something far bigger than any one of us. In closing, our current realities force us to face a different set of questions as we encounter obstacles that have reached new proportions questions of what did we do with this time, who did we reach out to, what did we stand up for, and how did we do our part. These questions are for each of us and for each of you. As our future leaders, community builders, activists, and great minds, you have a unique chance to make a positive impact for one another now with each decision you make and action you take. As you travel onto the next leg of your journey, my request for you and of you is to please always remember, you are braver than you believe, you are stronger than you seem, you are smarter than you think, you are missed more than you can imagine, and you are loved more than you know. Mr. Gerson, Magruder's teachers, staff, parents, families, and friends, in accordance with the California Education Code and the rules and the regulations, of the Torrance Unified School District, and by the authority invested in me as the principal of Magruder Middle School, I certify that the students of the class of 2020 have met the promotion requirements. Mr. Gerson, I present them to you as a representative of the Torrance Unified School District Board of Education. Hello, this is Jeremy Gerson, your school board member. I'm so excited to be here to accept your class today. Uh, I'm here all about how much spirit and passion you have and in honor of that I am wearing your class colors today wearing your purple and your pink and when you go off to high school I can tell you that that passion is going to make all the difference in the world you need to participate in four A's academics athletics the arts and the many activities available to you if you bring that passion with you you're going to add so much to the Saxon spirit at North High, and I know how successful you're going to be. And I look forward to following your high school careers and hopefully coming back in four years and accepting you as a graduating class. So let's make it official now. On behalf of the Torrance Unified School District Board of Education, I accept the 2020 Magruder Middle School Promoting Class as having met all of the requirements for promotion. Congratulations. You're now high schoolers. Thank you.